he was happy to just cuddle up on you, happy to have human affection. I know my little man. <laughs> I came across Chigor and his old owner and she was looking for a new home. No one knew that I was bringing him home. And the reaction of my daughters just gave me the relief that I knew that I did the right thing. My husband just shook his head and walked away. That was his way of going, okay, so we're doing this. <laughs> you want your mummy? Okay. We got him when he was about 11 months old. In rat years, that's already past a teenager. Tickle <laughs> But we didn't really see his full potential until we introduced him to his first brother, Branch. Chico was so soft and loving and that's what just made him the best big brother. It was just amazing to see how warm he was. When people think of rats, and I had a lot of friends go, what were you thinking? Why couldn't you just get a normal pet? As a child, I had two cats, and both cats were outdoor cats, and you couldn't even get a hug. But Chico, he was just a little ball of fluff. You wag his tail. You're thinking, what? A rat wagging his tail? Early February, being two and a half, in rat years, Chico was in his 80s. You could just see the breathing and the age. I could see that the branch just knew that it was time and would put his head underneath him. When it came time to say goodbye, my vet, who used to look after the boys when I used to be away, knew him very well, so I wanted her to be there. I had all the boys to come to the vet to say goodbye. I had Chigol just sitting on, around my neck. The vet was just stroking his head. It was like he was actually waiting to say goodbye to her. It was like two more breaths and he passed away in my arms. It's just, it's heartbreaking. Even though people say you saved him, you know what? He actually gave way more than what I've given him. I miss him. He was one of a kind. <laughs>